When we uh, rescued Hope, uh, 23 hours, the mother was a pygmy goat and her father was a full-grown alpine. They thought it was a difficult birth. They did an internal examination with their hand and broke her umbilical cord off in the womb. And as soon as you do that, their eyes open, they inhale, they ingest. And the amniotic fluid in the womb burned her corneas. So she had no sight and she had pneumonia. Her lungs were quite rattly. It took us about six weeks to get her over all her little ailments and give her confidence. She, she didn't want to move because as soon as she moved, she bumped into things. And so when she was ready, Carol and I used to bring her outside and we'd stand a few feet apart and call her. We got her to know her name very, very quickly. It took us another month or two to really build her confidence. If I say clear, she's clear. She knows to run, she knows she's safe. People say, oh, she's lucky to have you. We're, we're lucky to have her. She's such fun. She's fussy to what she eats. She eats sourdough bread as her main thing with grapes and apples. She won't drink water. It's got to be fizzy water or orange juice. And she's had a tremendous life. When we went to the Hollywood Heart Foundation, they all said how inspirational she was because how she coped with her blindness. It didn't bother her. Here's a little blind goat that was confident and walked around, knew people. And she does a lot of people a lot of good. She's a tremendous therapeutic goat, I think. So that is the life of hope so far.